14 in our complex number topic. We're going to use the Moivre's theorem to uh, prove this little identity here, our little uh, equation that says that we want to show that z cubed uh, plus 1 over z cubed uh, is equal to 2 cos 3 theta for this complex number z, which we can express as cos theta plus i sin theta. So we've got a complex number raised to two powers effectively. So we're thinking, first of all, that we want to have a look at the left-hand side of that identity, z cubed plus 1 over z cubed. And we could rewrite that as z cubed. Well, let's write it out uh, as that, first of all. We can write that out with a, a negative index for that fraction there. And Fortunately, Dumois theorem works equally well for positive powers and for negative powers. So what we can say here is that if we're wanting to work out z cubed, uh, and we know that uh, the, and the original number is cos theta plus i sine theta, then z cubed, with no, the modulus is 1, so it's 1 cubed is 1, and then we're going to multiply the argument by 3, which we can write down simply as cos 3 theta plus i sine 3 theta. However, we also have z to the power negative 3. And according to De Moivre's theorem, if we multiply uh, the argument by the value of the power, then that should give us negative 3 theta plus i sine negative 3 theta. But we already know from our exploration of the angle arguments that if we have a negative argument, we can simplify that by basically removing the negative sign from the cos expression because the negative argument, the cos of a negative argument is the same as the cos of the positive argument. However, it's the negative on the sign argument that then makes the overall expression there i minus i sine 3 theta. If you're not sure about that, you can go back to some of the previous examples where we've had a look at changing over uh, negative arguments to simplify in that way. So that means we've got two expressions. If I feed it back in to what I've got here on the, the left-hand side, z cubed can be written as cos 3 theta plus i sine 3 theta, and I'm going to add to that our expression for z to the negative 3, which is plus cos 3 theta minus i sine 3 theta. And from this addition of these four terms here, you'll notice that we've got plus i sine 3 theta and neg minus i sine 3 theta, and they cancel out, and that leaves us with cos 3 theta plus another cos three theta, which is two cos three theta, which is what the right hand side stated as. Okay. That's using Dumois theorem, uh, both in terms of positive and negative powers.